Today we're going to be taking a look at this Aolin USB desk fan. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons to this particular fan, help you decide if it is the right one for you. So let's get right into it. I'm just going to show you quickly how it works. There is only one button on this, super easy to operate. Uh, it has three speeds, so I'm going to put it on low here quick. Let you listen to it. Now put it on medium, press it one more time. Now I press it once again, I'm gonna turn it on high. So now you can hear it on all three levels here. And what you're gonna notice is it's a fairly quiet fan. Uh, you know, the ambient noise in my room is about 50 decibels. And when I put it on low, that noise is still about 50 decibels. So it doesn't really stick out a lot with just the ambient noise in my house. Uh, then if I put it all the way to high, it's at 63 decibels is what I measured it at. So not too much louder at all either. So overall, uh, nice noise level to it. Um, but uh, you know, the, the thing to consider with that is it does have a pretty good breeze to it, um, but it is a small fan. And in my opinion, it's a little bit, feels a little bit flimsy to me. Like this is completely hollow, this base at the bottom. Like it's very, very lightweight, almost feels a little cheap to me. Um, you know, these, if, if you watch as my finger, I can actually move all of these. They're like so thin, they're bendable. Uh, so I didn't really like that. It doesn't feel like a durable product to me. Um, however, if you're just looking for a basic USB table fan, this does get the job done. However, I do think there are brands that seem a little more higher quality to me, uh, that seem like they will last a little longer and that have a little bit better um, of uh, air movement, in my opinion. So overall, not a bad purchase. However, I do think there are other brands you should compare and consider.